If you're wondering what is the best NAS for backing up my Mac, then uh, you should watch this video. As you know, um, you can uh, connect any NAS to your Mac system if you go to connect server and put your username and password in and um, uh, there's, you will see NAS location appearing uh, next to your uh, drives, the regular drives inside your Mac. So you can easily just copy and paste data over. So uh, this is the simplest way how you can do backing up with copy paste uh, accounts. Uh, you can also um, do something like um, Time Machine or, uh, or other ways which I'm going to be describing later on on these slides. Um, if you want to have, um, have a look at the general video about backing up different kind of devices, then uh, you can go to a full version of a uh, 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 video called um, What's the Best NAS for Backing Up? But this is more specializing um, about Mac system, uh, but I'm going to keep it short anyway. Um, so. What is the best for backing up your time machine, uh, setting up time machine for your Mac? So once you have mapped your network drive uh, with your um, Mac system, you can uh, set up a, a time machine backup. But before you connect it and before you initialize your time machine backup, you need to do uh, a few steps before. So you will need to create a folder where this time machine is going to be um, located. You're going to create a username so you can keep this secure, so it's separate and you can, not, other users can't have an access to your time machine backup. And um, you might also set up some sort of limits, like uh, what size limit you, you want to set for this time machine. Uh, on the QNAP, you can use HBS3 uh, software, which is going to uh, automate some of the things or, um, uh, for preparing NAS for time machine backup as a location. Um, Synology is going to be slightly more difficult. It's going to be, you need to manually create um, the shared folder, user quota, and then you can link it with your Mac and uh, initialize uh, time machine backup. Uh, Aces store uh, uh, as well, very primitive, similar to Synology. WD is like a one click, it's already simpler. You don't need to install anything. You just enable time machine backups and it's going to prepare everything. But also if you want to create a thread folder, separate folder for keeping this time machine, you, you might need to do some manual actions. And uh, Terramaster as well, as well, you enable time machine with one click and um, and you can also create separate folder if you want. So, so it's up to you. So all of the NASs will do time machine backup uh, steps before uh, it's depend, going to depend on us. Probably QNAP is going to be the easiest to set up or WD where it's just one click enabling this thing. But I would recommend creating a shared folder for this so it's separate and secure. Uh, backing up um, folders. So if you don't want to do time machine backup, but you let's say I just want to back up my documents because now let's say I got time machine time cops or something so it's set up. but. I want to just back up certain folders. So it could be system files, could be my documents, my music, our project files. Uh, then uh, only Synology, we're really going to offer a, a software for Mac. Uh, so if you get Synology Drive for Mac, you can now actually select which folders you want to have backed up. Um, with other vendors like um, Acer or WD, you can use third party software to set this up or even with QNAP or Thermos, if you've got third party. But if you want their own software, then Synology is going to be way to go. Uh, if you want to synchronize a folder on your Mac, similar to Dropbox, then um, there'll be really QNAP and Synology available. Other vendors will need to, you will, will require you to have something like um, GoodSync or Cronus software installed, and then you can synchronize this folder. But if you don't want to spend additional money for this third-party software, then um, QNAP is not you can offer um, software. So QNAP is coming with um, QSync. You can, um, it's actually quite smart that instead of, if you've got several users in your network, uh, instead of uh, pulling down this data to every single machine, if you're using a shared folder for like Teams um, and you're sharing the same folder, then um, once the copy is downloaded on one PC, other PCs can actually communicate to this PC. So uh, this all this data can be already transferred using uh, our PCs in your network. So it's, it's much quicker. So it's, you, you don't keep this NAS so busy that everyone is connecting. Um, so you can also, with QSync, uh, synchronize the false. You can set filters, what you want to synchronize or not. 
um, and what happens if you delete files is it going to uh, be deleted on a NAS as well or it's going to be uh, only deleted on your system on your Mac system uh, similar to Synology Synology's have drive up as well you can do similar things like where you, what happens when you delete files uh, it, um, drive up on uh, Mac is not as advanced as it's on the Windows system where you can actually choose to keep certain files on a NAS only but still uh, have them appearing as a shortcut and be searchable on the, on, on your Windows system. Well, Mac is not that advanced. <clears throat> it's very simple. Just um, it's uh, on the on the uh, on the NAS synchronized with um with Synology. So you, both QNAP Synology will allow you to go to previous versions of the files, so you can recover if you deleted or changed the file. You can recover uh, to a previous state of the file. So as I said, Ace Store, WP, and Master do not have their own software for Mac. For synchronizing a folder, and that's um, that's about it. If you are also um, deciding about the speed, then QNAP and um, Synology will allow you to have 10 gigabit options, so you can have a faster way of connecting. And um, if you don't want to play with switches, then uh, you may consider QNAP ten Thunderbolt NAS series, which means that you can connect your NAS directly to your um, Mac via Thunderbolt. So all these backups you want to run are going to be 10 times faster uh, in theory uh, compared to 10 gigabit uh, to, to a 1 gigabit network what you probably have at this point. Um, I hope this um, uh, video was helping you to understand which brands are going to be the best for backing up your Mac system. Uh, if you have any other questions you can go to NAS Compares and fill the form on the right hand side or go to Ask NAS Compares or simply uh, send email to info at nascompare.com and if we, this question will be interesting we're going to shoot a video so we can help the world isn't that fantastic have a lovely day yourself